Okay, students, welcome back. This is Ms. Bruin. I want to show you real quick how to write your interview program using Python 3. I have a sample program open here on the screen, and I'm going to go ahead and press the F5 key and let you see how it runs. It's a pretty simple program. When it opens up, it welcomes you to the program, as you can see here, and it, then it begins to ask the user some questions. The first question asked here is, what is your first name? person places their first name in there and hits enter. Then it asks, what's your last name? So I'm going to put in my information, hit enter. And then it asks you, it's kind of rude to ask you how old you are, so I'm going to, I'm going to lie and say I'm that old. And um, once it asks those three questions, then it prints out the answers to all your questions. It says, thanks for participating. Here are the answers to the questions. Your name is, and it puts the first name and last name together on one line, and then prints out the person's age. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and take a little closer look at the actual code that made this run. You're going to be doing a similar program, but you're going to be asking at least seven questions in your program. Okay, I want a minimum of seven questions. I'm only showing you how to ask three questions, uh, but I want you to use these same questions, but then add some more of your own. We can see, uh, as we've learned before, uh, the program begins with a a uh, pound symbol which represents a comment and the comment uh, lets you know the name of the program and who wrote it then I have actually commented every part of my program uh, here I've put a comment that basically states that we introduce the program here with a couple print statements then um, we ask the first question and store the input in a variable so we again we ask using the print statement we ask the person what's your first name um, and then this part here is a little tricky we haven't done this yet this is where we use the input function right here um, but then when the person types their input we don't just um, we don't just take their input and then uh, forget about it we actually want to store it in a variable so we use the assignment operator there the equal sign and place the input that they type into a variable called first name um, I want you to use the same named variables that I've used here um, the very first variable should be called first name. Notice that there's no space in the variable name. It's all one word. I d did put a capital N here, but you don't have to. And um, so we say first name is assigned the value of input. And then what they do, whenever they type something in, it gets stored in that variable. We go on to the next question, prompt them with a print statement. What is your last name? Then take the input and store it in a different variable. This time the variable's name is last name. Okay, and last but not least, uh, we ask them the third question, how old are you? And they put their age in the variable called age. Okay, and um, then we say here we're going to print out all the answers to this short interview. And you can see those three print statements in a row. First we thank them for participating, then we type out the first part of the interview. Their first and last names are combined. Notice that in between each segment of the print statement there's a plus symbol. That's how we add strings together. So we have a string then the first name variable, then a plus symbol, then a space, then another plus symbol, then the last name variable, and then at the very end we have another string with a period in it. And you just got to make sure that each one of these elements has a plus symbol in between them or else it won't work. Also note that the variables don't have uh, single quotes around them because they're variables not strings. And so you need to make sure you follow those same uh, standards in your own program. And again, on the third line, we print out you are, and then a, sp uh, a plus symbol, then their variable age, then a plus symbol, and then another set of single quotes with the, f the end of the sentence in it. Okay, So you can see how I did that. Study this carefully. You see how I created the first three questions of the program. And then your job for this particular assignment is then to add at least four more questions to your interview and not only add those questions with their associated variables, but then also print out all those variables in uh, print statements at the end of the uh, program like you see here so that whatever they typed in gets printed out at the end of the program. Okay, So that's your challenge for this particular assignment and uh, it should take you all period today to work on this. Thanks and have fun.